All right, guys, after seeing the recent sad photos of the Rangers ballpark in Arlington, which they have inexplicably decided to turn into an XFL stadium, I mean, they can't knock it down at this point. It's too new, but the Rangers determined they needed a dome because of the Texas heat, and they could not put a retractable roof on that place. So it's kind of a weird spot with the Rangers ballpark in Arlington, but long story short, it got me thinking of some different abandoned places that, you know, used to be stadiums, but they're still standing. They have yet to be demolished and they have gone abandoned. So I have found three different ones, all of them. I believe the capacity is over 60K in all these three. And they're all kind of in different processes in terms of how abandoned they are, how close they are to demolition, different things like that. So the first one we're looking at is the Astrodome. Shockingly enough, uh, you know, when I was doing research, I was just like, how is this thing still standing? But for whatever reason it is, and as the story goes, in 2002, uh, the last known livestock event left the Astrodome. Apparently, they had hosted different events through 2002. And then in 2005, they had a bunch of people in from Katrina. I don't know if anyone remembers those photos of people getting housed during Katrina. That was that place was basically abandoned, but it was still... I mean, it still looked decent from the inside when you looked at the photos. And then apparently in 2008, it got crushed by the fire department. The fire department came in and said, yeah, this thing is is a complete hazard. You can't host anything in here. And then since 2008, it has really just been guarded by people. And it was recently completely gutted in 2015, all, or I think 2014, all of the seats got taken out. I mean, you can t- take a look at it right now. There's really nothing you can do with it. It is funny. They list a, a revitalization project. That's what they say. And their quote-unquote genius idea of re, you know, revitalizing the Astrodome was turning it into an indoor parking garage. How is that you know, that's just sad, honestly, but no, it looks like, I mean, you've got to knock this thing down. This is just a concrete old, you know, block building at this point. They've completely gutted the inside. I almost wonder if they sold any of those seats. I'd imagine they did. I mean, people want those. Honestly, if you're any type of sports collector and you have a man cave and someone says you want an Astrodome seat for a hundred bucks or 50 bucks, I'm guessing you would take it, you know, and they got what 50 K of those seats laying around. I don't know what happened to them, but maybe some of them are still in there. Either way, the place is completely gutted and it's just awaiting it. It's turned to be knocked down at this point. You know, I, I don't know when that's going to happen. I don't know why it's taken this long. Normally they can demolish those type of buildings really quickly. I mean, we saw the Minnesota Vikings knock, the Metrodome down, the King Dome back in Seattle was really quick. They just implode those things. Anything with a dome, it's very easy because it just falls on top. It's real easy to contain it. When you've got an open-air stadium, you've got to take it apart piece by piece. I remember how they did it with Yankee Stadium. It, it was a longer project. So, yeah, I don't know what they're waiting, but I, I would say any year now, the Astrodome is going to come down. But it, it's been abandoned for over a decade at this point. And I guess we'll have to just wait and see what happens when it comes to that. I remember back in like the 60s or whenever it opened, they tried to install real grass into it and it it basically died immediately. They've got a roof that like the sun can kind of come through it or I think, but it was really like light so that the, the rays of the sun were not nearly powerful enough to actually keep grass growing. So... Uh, the, all the grass died within a year and they had to use turf and uh, that was kind of the story on the Astrodome but it was like the eighth wonder of the world too yeah people they, they talked about it and it was this huge thing back uh, when it opened so that is the story on the Astrodome the next thing we're looking at is a soccer stadium that had didn't even this is a really unique story you rarely will see this this thing abandoned midway through construction very, very rare. You're not. And by the way, it got abandoned in 2009. They must have armed guards 
guarding this freaking place. It looks beautiful. There's no graffiti anywhere. I believe these are recent photos. And there's actually a report. Valencia's abandoned stadium left half-built in 2009 after construction stopped. And they apparently are a La Liga team. Uh, so that's one of those soccer leagues or something. And there's a new report that they're going to try and begin construction again. That would be remarkable if they were able to salvage this project. But just looking at the architecture of this stadium, they've got the little humps on top of the seats. Like, that's a very unique design there for that stadium. I actually really like it. And they do have like a few renderings of what it would look like if it was complete. It's very unique. It's very beautiful. And, I mean, it's just remarkable. There's, there's like, no known deterioration. I mean, the interior of it, like, the grounds look really bad, and the outside of it looks pretty bad. But in terms of the actual structure, there's really no rusting or anything like that. So, you know, we'll see if they're able to do anything with this. The capacity of it was right around 75000 uh, but they ran out of money, of course. they ex It says they experienced financial issues, construction was put on hold in 2009, and it has since not resumed. But there's a report that they want to finish it by September of 2025, and Valencia has pledged 100 million euros to possibly finish this project. So we'll have to see if that ends up happening. It's a beautiful looking stadium. I didn't even know about this. I think I just googled abandoned uh, stadium or something and and it's always rare to get when a, when a when a building is abandoned but it's not even built. It's like in the construction phase. It's like an extra level of of uniqueness to it. So, and especially something that big. I mean, that is a a big construction project that is just sitting in the middle of a city. And, and it's been, looked like a construction site for the last 15 years. I mean, just something is not adding up here. I, that, that's surprising to me. But I guess, I don't know, they, they don't have the money. And then the third and final one, we're going to be looking at the Strahov Stadium in Prague. And apparently, this is a really weird thing. It, it, it It's a massive complex, and it, it it's about nine football fields and it seats 200,000 people, apparently, with standing room. Apparently, the only actual capacity is 56K, but they say it can expand up to 200,000. And, and this is a place that has really not hosted anything recently. There was talks they were going to tear it down back in 2013. They also tried to get the Olympics and pitched the whole idea behind getting the 2016 Summer Olympics, uh, renovating that stadium and making that the big Olympic stadium, but they ended up not getting the Olympics. And it kind of just sits abandoned. You can see it stands there with a bunch of weeds in them and stuff like that. So, you know, an interesting thing that was built kind of as just a, a multi-field, uh, you know, complex. I mean, nine soccer fields or whatever. That's what it looks. It's it, it, It's huge. And really, I, I would say something like that would only be used for like the Olympics or maybe if you had like a, a soccer tournament, I guess, you would use something like that. But apparently, they tried renovating it a few times. They didn't get enough money and it just sits there collecting dust and they haven't really had a public event where the stadium was actually used in over a decade. So that is just three different places, you know, after seeing, you know, they do the exact same thing with Turner Field now for the MLB where they turn it into uh, like an XFL or I, I think it's actually Georgia Southern or maybe Georgia State. I think Georgia State plays at Turner Field, the former MLB ballpark. And it is really sad, but I mean, what do you do with these things? I mean, Turner Field is like 23 years old. Maybe, it, no, it's older than that. It was 94, I think. So it's older than that. But these things, Turner Field was built for the Olympics. They turned it into an MLB stadium. They end up moving out of it, which I agree with. I mean, Turner Field was uh, not great, but, you know, the Rangers ballpark, it, it, it's hard to see the MLB stadiums, you know, go out that way. And, and I guess they're just going to continue hosting like XFL or whatever it is. I mean, how long do those leagues really have? You know, you really have to wonder if the NFL doesn't embrace them. Those things always go down within two or three years. Normally, it's only a year. 
and their ratings are, are just always horrible. So, I mean, we'll have to see what happens, but those are just three interesting stadiums. I, if I had to guess, I would say the Astrodome within the next two years is gone. It's going to get demolished. After that, I mean, that, you know, soccer stadium, that's that might actually get finished. M- maybe, I don't know. I mean, if they've been trying to raise the money for 12 years, we'll have to see. And, and then the uh, big stadium in Prague, that'll probably just get demolished or they'll just leave it how it is. I don't know. I mean, it's now, it's just fields, you know, with a bunch of stands around it, but no, it's basically just abandoned. So the fields only get used either way, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. Link to that's always in the description.